Hello and welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of long-time friends and nerdy-ass Tumblr users transcend geography through the power of Skype to play Dungeons and & Dragons and critically fumble a lot. Uh, the group is currently en route to uh, Belarus by way of Grey's Inn and probably the Sullivan uh, Plantation. This has not been an uneventful trip so far. Uh, they have been serving as a sort of caravan guards for uh, Yusuf, a rather large uh, gentleman who is transporting feed to various spots around Gray's Inn. Um, but they've run into a couple of problems already, which on the one hand has had them earning their pay, but on the other hand, might possibly have been one of their faults. Uh, the first was a earth elemental, a giant rock which seemed particularly fixated on Froseth, who is trying to attune to the element of earth, and apparently it has decided to attune right back with its fists. <laughs> And a flock of cockatrices a few days later, which, while potentially not related, because Sigwald does inform them that you know, cockatrices are occasionally a problem on the plains, uh, the fact that they do turn their victims to stone might also be a little bit indicative. Point being that currently we have an issue with Darwin, having actually been turned to stone by the cockatrices, uh, thankfully their venom only lasts for 24 hours and they managed to dispatch the cockatrices uh, before they could do any significant damage to them. So we begin with you know, the day after the cockatrice attack with an extra load in the uh, wagon, which is going a little bit slower today because petrified Darwin is a little bit heavier than regular Darwin. So it's a it's a slow plod. Was there anything anyone wanted to do the, that that evening or during the day? I got nothing. I just anything. passed out. And I've uh, been. Yeah, you're clarity. Mute, you're, you're muted. Sorry. Uh, clarity first, then we'll go to. Okay. So, clarity just sort of awkwardly, slightly avoids Hazel. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, because cause, cause the smoochies. Yes. <laughs> And also, just sort of like once Darwin's sort of loaded into the the cart, we'll just sort of hunker down with her books and just sort of sit on his legs. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, why I love this party. It's such, a, it's such a good thing you don't have a terrible lot of uh, of, of of strength, because I'd I'd have to ask you to make some kind of rule to see if you chip anything. <laughs> anyway, Sigwald, <laughs> you're muted again. Yep. Still not getting any sound. I think he's having a sound error. Ah. Uh... I just get cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> you are terrible. I I feel bad. I keep calling this cat Noop, and he's not Noop. What's his name? His name is Pim Pim. Hi, Pim Pim. <laughs> Greetings to you, O oh fluffy one. My son named him when he was three, so. <laughs> it could be worse. That's adorable. It could be worse. I had a cat and a hamster at that age. The <laughs> hamster was named Fuzzwuzz, and the cat was named Thundar. Now, now there I'm you go. Yes. He lives. Oh. All right. Um, can I continue with what I was yes. about to say? Yes. All right. I was going to say that since me and Fro, uh, me and Froseth usually have the morning watch, I'm Sigwald's probably going to ask him like, uh, like about an hour, about like half an hour in or something like before we were it, something like before we were interrupted by the cockatrices last evening. 
Did you have uh, any other thoughts you wanted to complete? I think you might also have a mute problem. I think ev- there we everyone? go. There we go. Hello. Yes. There we go. Yes. I was wondering why you were. You're not usually that quiet. I'm usually quiet. Yeah. Ah! I'm not that quiet. Uh, I don't even remember. Really remember that conversation aside from the the talk about uh, other people being more capable than Froseth. So, yeah, I can't think of anything else I wanted to add to that conversation. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, if there is anything else, if anything comes up, we're going to be in the cart anyway. (laughs) So, (laughs) you barrel of wonder. And if Bro, Seth has nothing else to say. Just continue, continue the morning watch. Yeah. Again, it's it's mostly because I don't want to leave Ethan like that because that's just freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was frozen. The screen was froze for a second. No, he's blinking. I can see him blinking. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's the, 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 old, the only the only problem is that given that uh the the that Darwin was petrified while being bitten by cockatrices, he would not be smiling. <laughs> I broke him. There you go. <laughs> there we go. He moves. He still lives. That is a good sign. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, the 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 next day is the ne- <laughs> the next day is uh, cart trip is a little bit awkward with clarity. Uh, basically. <laughs> Hiding behind book, <laughs> sitting on top of, of 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 Darfin's legs, and well, what did, what is Hazel's reaction to being effectively avoided? Yeah. <laughs> Deep late. Oh, <laughs> this is like wants to cuddle but can't exactly reach, and is just going to sit there, looking a little deflated. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of you, anything in particular? <laughs> Sigwald, if he's sitting next to Hazel, leans over and whispers to her, you might have come on a bit too strong and now she's <laughs> trying to avoid you. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Christine is face palming. This is not happening here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clara, Clara- this is not a big cart. <laughs> Actually, in all fairness, Clarity, make me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this party. It is made out of so much <laughs> ridiculous. Seven. Oh no. No, that's that's her modifier. So yeah, no. Uh, the, the, she she's got so immersed in book that just the entire world is being blocked out right now. <laughs> so yes. Uh, continue. Door kisses all of us. <laughs> continue. continue. <laughs> Going to just grab Sigfold's face and shove. <laughs> just, Stop. Just unbe- and she's like, Oof. <laughs> Sigwald's not very, is fairly easy to move around, so he's just kind of, oof, and does not completely go toppling over, thankfully, but. Uh, The hat with Flitty on it, however, does. (laughs) Oh. So. Catch! You hear, and unfortunately, Flitty is pinned under the hat, so, poof, poof, poof. 
trampled okay, in, in, in the road dust. Rolled a natural one. One of the only times my dice ever do that. And it's to squish <laughs> Flitty. And I was going to be start S next to being a very dragon. No, oh, yeah, so, out oh, of the cart. So you're getting, you're getting trot, 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 trot. This... Yeah, I am jumping out of the cart to go after Wait, the very dragon. Okay, oh. give 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 me a dex check for this. Actually, to be fair, it would be athletics for that, I guess. If you're vaulting yourself out of a moving cart, I, I can I can be moderately generous here. I'm for fun. Yeah, you 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 land a little hard. You stick the landing in. You're gonna feel that in your knees for the rest of the day, but uh, you, you, you get out of the cart. And there there's Sigwald's hat sort of feebly wiggling. Pick up. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just chomp Hazel's hand. Ow! I, I deserve that. Bite you! You keep doing this! I like the hat! Let me have the hat! Leave the you poor wizard the man alone! Okay. And Yusuf is just looking behind, going, "I stopped the, I stopped the wagon now. What, what is this?" And I'm hoofing it back over, fairy dragon and hat and toe. <laughs> Yusuf sort of stops the wagon. And goes, what did I tell you? What was it that I told you? Say Cause it. trouble. And what have you done? Cause trouble. I am ducking. Carefully this. putting the hat back on to sing. No, no, I no, I grab her by the, I grab her by the wrist and I go, put it in my hands. <laughs> Redirect oh. two hands. I can put it on myself. Thank you. I am docking this one's pay for the day. I've had it with this. Only this one. The rest of you, you still get paid. Her? Today? No. I do not... I, I understand about your bard friend. The bard friend, it happens. Probably. In, in, in worlds with adventurers and... At, at, at least it means that I am not statue because this would be problematic for me. <laughs> but stopping my cart because ridiculous green bowed lovelorn cleric thing decides to shove around hat <laughs> is ridiculous. You are ridiculous and the only reason I do not dock all of your pay is because you keep these people alive. Now you sit and you shot. Thank you. Once we get moving, I very deflated. I am a very deflated Hazel. <laughs> once we once we get moving again, I will tell Hazel. I'll tell I'll tell Mom and Mama that you handed my hat over to me very nicely, though. And I give her a little <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Just a look. I'm not moving. I am almost as still as Mr. Petrified over here. Remy, <laughs> uh, Froseth, any response to any of this? <laughs> uh, I, I'm on the front of the cart doing the, the lookout thing, so... Uh, Remy's gonna keep the lookout, too. Somebody has to. Um, if, if this, as, as, as the cart gets moving again, you do have Flitty going. I'm going to go back to the hat eventually, but I think I'm going to sit with the Dragon Man just in case, because I don't want to fall off again. I don't want to be knocked off again. It's in Draconic, but you see the accusing look from the Blue Dragon. Just consistently shrinking Hazel, despite the fact that she's not moved one iota. <laughs> Boops, Sigwald on the nose, and then goes and sits on top of Frosa's head. I did miss you. 
<laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> uh... Eventually, um... Yusuf stops the wagon, it's starting to walk towards sundown. Off in the distance you see this sort of rickety structure that looks like it was probably a small barn once. Um, and Yusuf says, Okay, I can only judge this off the top of my head, but... Your friend should be unfreezing soon if 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 wizard man is uh, is right about the petrification poison thing. I thought that perhaps we stop before we reach the heartbeat so that we do not have to explain why statue becomes man. So perhaps take him from cart so he is not unfreezing in bags of feed. <laughs> right. Um, I get off his legs. <laughs> <laughs> there is a sort of a chip in the in the cuff of one of his boots, where your daggers kind of scraped, but not any significant damage to him. Just that's going to be a somewhat tattered. Uh, boot cut. <laughs> I ineffectively try to like, <laughs> sort of buff it a little. <laughs> I, 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 Sigwell's like, stop, 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 stop. Leave it as it is. <laughs> All right. And um, we'll be able to take care of it after it's unpetrified. And um, yeah, it's, it's probably Sigwald leans down, about to pick him up, but realizes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's probably going to be Remy and Hazel who are the most helpful in this particular case. Because yeah. so many of you use strength as a dump stat. <laughs> <sighs> well, half the party! Well, more than half the party, including the petrified one. <laughs> My strength is above average, thank you. Just not as <laughs> much as you two. <laughs> Remy's yeah. strength is pretty above average. Yeah. Extremely, yeah. rather. On, on the other hand, most of your rolls were above average. You're, you're, you, you, you lucked out on your stats rolls. Yeah. Anyway, um, you, uh, Remy with Hazel sort of partially aiding but also probably being really careful because she's Extremely she's been careful. yelled at enough today <laughs> yeah um, okay, careful to the nth degree right here yeah, so it really is just carefully pushing you managed to get darvin on his feet uh, just just out the back of the cart and about 10 minutes after that the granite gray of darvin's skin starts to fade to a more fleshy tone and Darwin blinks and there are no cockatrices and you you moved. Apparently a lot. I don't wanna be a statue, don't wanna be a statue, don't wanna be a statue. Wait, wait. You're no longer a statue. You're no longer a statue. No longer a statue. Welcome back, Darwin. Hello. All the oh cockatrices are dead. I was so scared that was gonna be permanent. It I was petrified. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> and it begins. That's probably not going to stop for the whole rest of the session. Sigwald chokes on the pun. <clears throat> Where? What? Was anybody else? Did everybody else? Was everybody else okay? Everyone else Wait, was fine. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. All, all the other cockatrices were handily exterminated. Also, also, right at, right, also, we, and after we went to bed, there were no other incidents, tra travel for the day, no other incidents. Oh, but right before we went to bed, Hazel kissed Clarity. <laughs> Is there anywhere to stealth? Is there anywhere to stealth? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I suppose you could technically bury yourself in the feedback. <laughs> Wait, did, did, did what to who and what now? <laughs> What? I, I mean, know. I'm okay, well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised this is Hazel, but what? what? I am slowly turning the color of a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> you look better in red than I did in gray. <laughs> oh. He doesn't That's have dumb. any idea how he looked in gray. <laughs> I saw my legs before I turned. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Barely. That happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Yusuf, Congratulations. Yusuf, Yusuf, I am now a Yusuf tomato. actually reaches his hand under Sigwald's hat and flicks his ear. I am fairly sure that this was not a necessary thing or could at least have been done over drinks and where the lovely tiefling lady could actually hide from your gossip. Gossip is not supposed to happen when the subjects of the gossip are right there. It is rude and disrespectful. As someone who trades in gossip, he's not wrong. Lanark, <laughs> <laughs> mm. he warned me about you. I did not think he was going to be like this. My apologies. <laughs> you have been best traveling companion today. You have at least been quiet. <laughs> And apparently have been very good seat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a rip in the in the cup. Oh, of, but then again, what? that could have been the cockatrices. When did? Okay, I'll have to get that looked at. Okay. Um. Sorry about your boot. Uh, what? Oh, pfft, like I. Ah, it, you. I don't care. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you guys for having. My, I guess, me? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, apparently a rolling stone gathers no moss, and neither does a stone bard, so, yay. <laughs> Yusuf just face palms. <laughs> we are Silent! Going, we are going... Silent, am so, I speaking tomato? How much time did I lose? A day. Uh, the, the, so. the, the smart man with no idea of how to gossip, he says he was 24 hours. Wow. Well, that's not the most time I've ever lost. <laughs> <laughs> and I am taking you to in at least at least blind harpy Alice Pisswater. Yes. It points to Darwin can now see a uh, up ahead maybe a 15 minute ride a uh, sort of a rickety dilapidated building that probably used to be a small barn of some description is the blind harpy is run by Ren is not pleasant if you carry on the way you have been is going to be less pleasant than usually is in that place but after some of the mess that there has been, I think beds and even piss water is better than having to deal with this sober. In the cart. Yes, okay. I'm climbing in in quickly. Fill the color of a tomato. <laughs> Yes, and uh, uh, Flitty, by the way, is currently um, on top of uh, Frosa's head with tail very securely wound around one of the one of the horn ridges in and the back. Given given that there's a space that's already well <laughs> bard shaped, I'll just sort of occupy the same roughly the same spot. Well, to be fair, you take less up less space when you're sitting down than when you were sprawled out full length. So mm -hmm. if, if, if you try that, uh, Yusuf is sort of going, you, I understood when you were a statue, but you are bending my bed a lot of shape. Sit, All right. sit All up. Right. Thank okay. you. Clearly, Yusuf is, is starting to 
starting it, 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 you're starting to step on his last nerve now <laughs> I'm trying desperately to step lightly <laughs> it's unfortunately some of the others aren't so much. Oh. Uh, he was supposed to be one of the friendlier NPCs but you guys <laughs> you guys you may have driven him a little crazy it reminds me of the jeweler. It's like with I rolled the one in persuasion. It's like, tell you what, give us a good deal, and I'll get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, but he was to be fair. He was supposed to hate clarity worse than he was gonna hate you. But you're a bard. It's a thing. Anyway, um, fifteen minutes later, at you know, a big, strong Shire Horse speed, you reach. Yeah, it's dilapidated and weather-beaten. There's a couple of horses that look way better than the building um, hitched to a post outside. It's pretty clear that because this is the only place within several days' journey in at least one direction, uh, the individual running it is taking full advantage of that of the fact that you guys have got no better option So, yeah, and Yusuf uh, sort of stops the cart in front of the door. I I go, I hitch up, you know, I unhitch horses, uh, I pay for and thinking it will probably have to be three rooms. I do not think that cramming uh, three people into a two-bed room would be a, a thing, but a, a, a man and a woman will have to share, probably. Uh, not that many rooms in this place. So decide amongst yourselves. I pay for three rooms, meals, and one flagon of the piss water, everything else. You get yourselves. You go in, you find table. Do not be too much you around Ren. Mm, Darwin, mm. wanna share a room? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is great! This is amazing! You're muted, Ethan. <laughs> Sure, given circumstances, that would probably be best. I would go over tomato, by the way. I, su I suppose I'll be rooming with you, Froseth. Suppose so. <laughs> and Remy suddenly realizes that means she's sharing her room with Hazel. Remy just gives Hazel a look. <laughs> the, the, look. <laughs> yeah, the look. I am staring at the door to the building. Still bright red. <laughs> Well, who wants to do the honors? Our old nemesis, a door. <laughs> <laughs> Sigwald walks up and <clears throat> what's the mechanism? Is it a knob? Is it a handle? It's, what it's, is it? It's, it's more it's more a latch. You, you know the kind of All things right. that you'll find in sort of uh, uh, old, old old fences and barns. Just a chink boom. Well, he just unlatches it and walk and unlatches it. <laughs> Complicated? Do I have to make this? I go through you the don't, damn door. Just, yeah, yeah, he, he, this time you can go through the door. They are making this far more complicated than it needs to be. Um, like I said, <laughs> our old nemesis. Yes, you, a door. You enter. It's the furniture has seen better days. The the meal that is being served. I mean, this is this is not the golden bow. This is so not the golden bow. It's the, <laughs> the, 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 the it's probably stew or something similar. It seems to involve a fair bit of cabbage and turnip. There's a few people, um, they're mostly, uh, you know, road dust covered individuals and they're 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 scarfing down their meals like I'm hungry and I don't really want to taste it that much. 
There's one individual in the corner that uh, Sigwald will find familiar. A uh, couple of years younger than him, a uh, woman, uh, dark skin, uh, dark hair tied back in a braid that's kind of uh, uh, poofing out at, at, at the scene. Um, this is Lisa. She works at the uh, ranch sort of next to your families and uh, she tends to she tends to be the one there that rides around um discussing breeding stock so finding her in any of the you know uh ranches and individually owned taverns around Gray's Inn is not uncommon and she sort of looks up raises an eyebrow <laughs> Siggy Lisa, how are you? <laughs> oh, 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 and also because Siggy? I'm back in Grey's and I drop, I'm back to my normal accent. Lisa, how you been? Oh shit, how do I do it? How, I don't know how to do a sub. I don't know how to do southern accent. Lisa, how you been doing? Well, a uh, little bit surprised to see you, and um, in such company. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I've um, made some, I've, I've made some new friends for uh, for a job I've been doing for the for the academy. This this is Darwin Darwin Taylor. This is Hazel Hartha. This is Froseth. This is my long suffering bodyguard, Remy Crespin, and the shy one in the back. That's Clarity. Remy just is a double take at Sigwald. <laughs> I heard you got all citified. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The folks in Bel Belarus don't take too kindly to this kind of accent. I, I learned that much to my dismay when I first got there. Well, it seems like you got yourself a bit of a reputation for bringing things that people don't take too kindly to right to those places. Or have you forgotten some of the attitudes you get around here? You did warn them, didn't you? Hmm? All of you come in and sit down. It looks like Sigwald's missed a whole mess of information. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound like Sigwald. It might now tick with Sigwald, because he's been in, in a very cosmopolitan city for several years. He's effectively forgotten the level of racism you get in some bits of the country. Right. <laughs> this is about to be interesting. Once once Sigmund connects us together, he says, "Well, if people well if people don't take too kindly to my friend Clarity, that's their problem. Uh, and if just... they decide to make it a, make it one of my problem, um, I ain't just talking about Clarity." You you ain't paid that much attention, and it ain't just your friend with the, the Dragonborn neither, because you, sir, get well at least he's metallic. He ain't liable to cause too much trouble, cause ain't they all good? For the most part, yeah, about as good about as good as you and me. Problem being, it ain't. It still ain't just your tiefling friend. Looks at Hazel. Still interesting color. They don't take too kindly to half elves around here. Yet yeah, you notice that they always, when when the the few we actually got working here, always got the lower mucking out jobs. Hey, hey. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I ran into you before we met your family. Before they met your family, because I know you can't stop mm. in and look in on them. This gonna mm. be a problem. Well, I don't know. I reckon the Sullivans tend towards the mostly polite. You know, might have to dodge a little bit of, uh, you know, your kind kind of talk. Now, see me, mm. I don't mind so much, mostly because I wind up talking to them folks in Belarus, and you get all kinds there. And mm -hmm. the, 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 the egg of people are even weirder, frankly. Mm. So, none of this can face me too much. Mm. And, you know, you'd think. I mean, 
You'd think that in a in a in a barony, what's run by halflings, but people tend to look at them as more of the administrative types. You know, halflings are homemakers, and baronies just a real big home, and at least they know their place. I can't mm -hmm. wait to get myself out of this town. Yeah, we got. I got. I heard more than a little of that growing up, not involving other races, but people knowing their place. Yeah. Looks at you. <sighs> oh. Right. And I ain't to mention that. All right. Oh, what brings you to these parts? And you might want to go and talk to Ren. He's, uh, he's giving you a bit of a look. Behind the bar, there is this mm -hmm. rather rotund guy, so sort of straggly beard, uh, balding at the top, graying with what little hair he's got on his head. And the beard is this sort of, looks kind of like a, 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 a Brillo pad has eaten half of his face. <laughs> Oh God! And he that is, is a terrifying. He look. is looking at. I. Mean, Froseth is getting a wary, but not too unfriendly look. Clarity is getting the. You're gonna either set something on fire or nick the silverware, aren't you? And Cla and Hazel's just getting. You're gonna. You're gonna nick the silverware, aren't you? Funnily enough, Darwin with the instrument on his back getting a less intense version of that look. Bards apparently aren't looked on with that much favor either. This is... This is Hicksville, guys. Welcome to mm. it. <laughs> right. Well, and given... I left here when I was... A, and just thinking out of character, I left here when I was a kid, when I was a little kid, and just realizing, oh man, I have no idea how to navigate this kind of place. I grew up in the very cushy bosom of a... Moderately liberal, liberal Sul Sul Sullivan, mom and dad Sullivan, and but then, also then you went to cosmopolitan oh. Mecca. <laughs> I'm back here. Like, oh, Given the circumstances, uh, Remy, you might want to. You might be the best of us to go talk to. <laughs> uh, uh, you seem to be the one getting the least <clears throat> look, TM. Well, it, 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 her and Sigwald. Yeah. Sigwald just getting kind of a yeah, okay nod of the you look a little countrified but <laughs> you still have the one of us look. Remy is getting respect but basically she's a giant tin can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not, a, that's not an unapt description. Shan? Very accurate. Well, given the sit, given the situation that's going on around here, I suppose I'm just gonna go book our book our rooms real discreet, like. <laughs> did, did you just? Did he just, just? Is he gonna try to be discreet? That one? And, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the best discreet as and, I am. You, you get you and, get you get Lisa leading over and going, no best pa. His family. Some of the better spies in the district. <laughs> so, just, so, okay, that apple fell really far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> also, and, some of the best horse ranchers. And rolled down the hill. Yeah, some of the best horse ranchers and all. And while while they're, while they're, while while Lisa and and Darvin are gossiping behind Sigwald's back, which he does Pro properly back behind his doesn't. back, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sig Sigwald goes to the goes to the barkeep and goes to the barkeep and orders. Um, I, I'd like to book. Th I'd like to book three rooms, please. Two beds each. The accent gets a raised eyebrow. <laughs> like... Sorry, uh, sorry. Um, no, no, you, 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 no, you, no. you talk how you talk, my man. Uh, 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 it's a... Man, I gotta. I, if I'm being in character, I gotta keep my well, accent. No, you would, you, would, you, would, you, you would actually slip between the two, and particularly if you're, if you're asking for a service, 
most of the time when you were speaking to innkeepers, shopkeepers, you would have spoken in that more cultured accent. So oh, it would buddy. make a certain amount of sense that you do that. Oh, and Ash, I fucked up. Yeah, well, I actually, <laughs> um, make make me an intelligence check. Oh boy, oh boy, and funny. No portents ready, even though it's been a day. Oh well. Well, well, uh, it 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 it's more a uh, let's let the dice decide this than anything. Okay. Else. Don't worry about it too much. All right. She just naked intelligence. Yes. And here we go. Ho ho ho! Woo! Eighteen. Nice. Yeah, you let's just be, you be that 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 accent that you fell back into just <clears throat> added an extra at least silver a piece per room. Mm. <laughs> And he, 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 he hands over uh, three keys and says, uh, that's going to be eight silver, but it's got meal along with. Fair enough. And I, and I, and I suppose I fork over, fork over uh, 24 silver, eight silver each. So yes. 24 silver. All right. Mm -hmm. So fork over 24 silver. You haven't anything to uh, drink? Wasn't. Yeah, you're, oh, you're, well, I don't, you're I still, you're the, still gone. Yeah, I can't hear the inner exchange. My bad. No, my... Yeah, and he says, he's going, the meal comes with drink, don't. Mm. So, you having anything? Well, we got ale, mostly. Mm. I'll have, I'll have uh, one flag and a bale. Yeah, it, it, it brings out a, 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 a flag and of, it, it, it doesn't look like You've had the ale at the Golden Bow. This is not the ale of the Golden Bow, and he put puts out uh, it puts out six mugs uh, along with it because it's a big you know, flagon that you serve yourselves. Mm. And punk. Mm. Thank you kindly. Yeah, and you can you can at that point because that's the that would be the flagon that um, that Yusuf is going to get for you guys. So. At the very least, you're not asking for for a meal, and you'll get your twenty four silver back. And oh. uh, I, the whole time, I'm I'm leaned over, just I'm I'm Excellent. getting all getting uh, hearing what Lisa has to say about his Sigwald's family, because <sighs> mm. yeah, that, that that and while 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 Sigwald is realizing that uh, he's just got his Yusuf overcharged, going, you know, before the beard, I had such a crush on that man. <laughs> I, I've never seen him without the beard, so I can't. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. I just can't. I just can't. I can't see it. But oh. that's. <laughs> oh, oh! Anyway, can we but... can we just say that uh, that Sigwald's also ordering all the ordering meals or? Yeah, that he, well, he said food okay. came with. It's pretty clear that oh, again, this is not the oh, Golden right. Bow. Uh, the menu options are like it or lump it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but but I'm just trying. I'm just trying to work out here. I'm because I'm assuming that Sigwald knows yeah, a will, bit more about yeah, what's going it, on than I do. So yeah, it's like basically getting... what's going to happen is yeah, you've got you've got you've got the flagon, you've got the mugs, and once dinner has been dished up, um, it will it will be brought to your table. Right. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, well, Sigwald comes back with the uh, with the flagon and the six mugs. Oh, the infamous ale. Um, I ask Lisa, um, how do um, how do people around here feel feel about magic? Honestly, they think Sigwald. They think Siggy over there. He that he's kind of crazy for wanting to get involved with it. I mean. It's it's one it's it's kind of like the attitude to magic's a bit like the attitude to well, half elves and dragonborn mm. and tieflings and gnomes are just people don't want anything to do with gnomes. Those little fuckers are crazy. But <laughs> basically, magic is seen by most the same way that the somewhat more tolerant folk see people who ain't quite human 
I reckon it's all right, but I don't really want it in my house, is what I tend to hear. Mm -hmm. Let's so, just try to keep a low profile. But if I wanted to press to digitate my food to make it taste better. <laughs> can, that would can, be can, awful rude, actually. That would be awful <laughs> smart, actually, if she could do it without anybody finding out. You ain't and never eaten here. You ain't never had to. I've had to eat here. I know that man stew. I eat here because I ain't got that much choice because usually it's just me and a good fast horse and I can't be carrying around that much provisions. So I gotta eat here. But finish mine around. I am now praying to myself and, you know, doing the little sun circle gesture. <laughs> And we got religious folk. Fantastic. <laughs> We're a mixed bag. <laughs> well, of nuts. <laughs> yeah. See, it's 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 mostly Obad High that gets all the that get, gets all the props around here. Uh, Paylor, that kind of sideline him. That gets a look. <laughs> I'm just trying to warn you. No, no. What was that other name? Oh, bad high. He's he's beasts. And... <sighs> what? Nature god. It's not it, you. It, it's not you. It's not me. him either. It's something else. Uh. This sounds like it's way outside of. Yeah. To be dealing with. So I reckon I'm gonna leave you all to it because I mm. finished my I finished my meal and I finished my piss water and God to know I ain't sleeping here. I'd rather be out under the stars and some of the some of the beds in this place. Check them for bugs. I was about to say. It was great to see you again, Siggy. Um Great seeing you again, too, Lisa. I, I ain't heading towards your family, so I can't warn them in advance that you're coming. But you might want to be the first one in just to try and explain, uh, be more polite than even they usually are to the guests of the non-human persuasion. You probably ain't seen it from your folks, but they're usually... The other races are perfectly fine over there. God, I, I'm just the whole time. I'm just every time I hear that, I hear things like that. I'm just like, because <laughs> it just reminds me, like, just reminds me of some of the things I've heard other, yeah, servants and, she, and whatnot. And she, yeah, she she tips you all a salute, gives a, a, a... Darwin gets. It it looks like a mocking kind of a bow, but. <laughs> And out I she just, goes. <laughs> I just smirk and just yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think it's I think it's only Sigwald and Remy who don't quite entirely understand why that just happened. I just kind of smirk and be like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, oh, you, that's right. Because I don't think those two have any role. Well, they 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 know that you're mother had a room in Star Coast, but no one ever asked, so. Yeah, okay. Forgot about that. But awesome. Yeah, well, while that bit of conversation was happening, um, Yusuf has got uh, his, he's got his, his tankard, uh, and his, he picked up his bowl, and he leans over to you. I leave you to your conversations, because no offense to you, but I have had quite enough of your company for one week. Sorry, Yusuf. Um Understandable. Um, I will be sleeping in the wagon. You? He puts down 20 silver. It's not my fault you got overcharged. Wait, <laughs> walks, we... walks over <laughs> to a table across the, uh, across the wagon. <laughs> so... And Ren, Ren comes by with a large tray with it's probably beef in in there. But there's a terrible lot of cabbage, a terrible lot of turnip, 
that's probably carrot, that's probably potato. The the broth is a bit watery and yeah, it it it, it smells rather bland and you've had you've had you've had mutton stew at the hearth hearts and you're kind of wistful for it now. Like, well, it doesn't smell bad. It smells cabbagey. I am going to try it. Mm. Remy's not picky. Sigmund I mean, digs in like this ain't no thing. This just, hey. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over salted cabbage and mostly what you taste is salt, cabbage, and turnip. Smooth! I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying the ale. Grab some of the ale. Like, yeah, p- p- <laughs> piss water is about the appropriate <laughs> description. I, I, I'm assuming the ale's probably warm too. It doesn't really have a way to cool it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a sniff of it. Use my elemental affinity to make it cold for himself. That that is so it's things going to discreetly bit. use discreetly attempt prestidigitation. Sleight of hand. Um, sleight of hand to, check. Uh, yeah, so sleight of hand, here we go. Uh, sleight of hand. I'm actually going to do the same thing. And yeah. I'm going to wait until Ren's not looking yeah. towards us. Uh, naturally, I'd do the same, but... 17 for me. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 boy, one. fucked it up! Sigwald, Natural one. Sigwald, um doesn't actually know how to be subtle about his magic at all. While, um... <laughs> while... All, all you see is, uh... You know, Clarity make a quick pass over her food like she's got, you know, some, um... You know, so, like she carries a, a little spice packet to improve, you know, to improve the taste of tavern food. Sigwald flails and slops about half of his stew across the table. I did re- <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. Of the two, I think wearing it might actually be worse. <laughs> I am This is not a color that works leaning. with my with my complexion. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm leaning over towards clarity. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not the worst no, I've ever tasted. It's um not the first time that Darwin's been wearing food that has been strewn about. <laughs> Try yeah, to yeah, this... help clean it up a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna wind up, wind up getting us getting us charged for damages at this rate. Sigwald, Sigwald wants to crawl under a rock and die at this point. <laughs> so he does. He does manage to improve the taste of what's left, but <laughs> that has definitely got Ren's attention, and he's getting this look like, "What the fuck are you doing to my bar?" <laughs> <laughs> and I just... clarity, clarity, no other help. Mm. I am mm-hmm. sinking into the chair. <laughs> uh, uh, those of you listening to this probably finally decipher enough Hazel to uh, understand that she means, can you help improve the taste of my food too? Oh. Do I have to do another sleight of hand check? Yes. Okay. It's only fair. 22. Uh, th- <sighs> this, is, this is even more subtle. You do it under the guise of cleaning up the... Uh, the, 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 the stuff that's slopped on onto the table in front of Darwin. Yeah. This 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 is this is this is definitely improved matters. It's not taste of home, but at least it balances out that salt cabbage turnip taste. <sighs> Sigwald's watching this, just making a mental note to himself, I'm gonna have to take magic lessons from her. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Flitty is sort of leaning sideways to look at Froseth and go, I don't want to eat that, do I? Probably not. Okay. I have an idea. And Flitty goes invisible. 
I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? Sigwald just, a oh, while wow, this is going on, just, e- just eating his ex- overly salty stew no, and no, his remaining... No, the, the, the prestidigitation still worked. It's just okay. that the sleight of hand was absolute yeah. crap. It was an absolute, was an absolute fuck up. Okay, well he's just eating very and Darvin, quiet. And Darwin apparently isn't even going to bother to try. Yeah, it's not the worst thing I've ever consumed. Seriously. <laughs> so wait, what happened to Flitty? Where did Flitty go? <laughs> no, I mean, did Flitty just vanish. No, what yeah. I'm asking is, did Flitty, did Flitty just vanish or take off? No, vanished as far as you guys can say, just. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then, then, yeah, no, no real reaction. Just. Uh. Darvin, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna trust this one that it's fine. <clears throat> okay. I mean, of all of us, Flitty's probably the the most uh, capable. So, <laughs> yeah. you know what? Don't good. worry about it. I that's good. That's, 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 that's because Flitty doesn't try for very much above his station. He knows what he's good at, and if eventually um, comes back visible, flying quite low at about knee level so you guys just see him rise up from the table with a sausage that looks far far better than any of the food you guys are having and it just he's holding out on us I don't care come on nomph 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 <laughs> well done well done I wasn't and gonna go back to eating. Start. Oh, you were. Scritch, 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 scritch. Looks over at Sigwald and and sort of uh, very carefully uh, separates out uh, about a third of the sausage and noses it in his direction. Nose, nose, nose. And it goes back to the rest of it. Uh, Sigmund's going to take a knife, chop it up into six pieces, and hand it, hand it <laughs> off to each, everyone, and hand it off to and the I'm other gonna, five I'm to gonna, everyone else. I'm going to hand my piece right back to Flitty. <laughs> I'm trying to make him feel better about the splooshing. It's okay, here. You, you, you're right. You need it. I'm fine. I was okay with it. And then he just said, nudges it back towards Sigwald. Eat the sausage bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sigwald, well, there you go. He, he's just gonna <laughs> mine too. Right. Sig, Sig, all right, Sigwald just it without is actually, a word. Just... It is actually a far better sausage, and Hazel actually uh, recognizes that as a um, as as a as a Golden Dale uh, make of sausage. He's had that kind of thing before, so this guy really is holding out on you guys. Hey, hey, Sigwald, he... Sigwald. Don't uh, don't take it for granted. I will. This tastes my like ear. home, and I Sig- want to put a finger in your ear, but I'm not going to. Clarity uh, punches Sigwald- him in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> Sigwald's just taps Darwin on the ankle with his cane, and then goes back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in the sun and and just devolves into mumbling. <laughs> yeah, the 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 few other patrons, um, like only one of them appears to be staying. Uh, sort of a middle-aged human man. Um. Who apparently has one of the rooms because he he scarfs down his dinner 
with the uh, with with the alacrity of someone who wants it in his stomach before it has a chance to touch his taste buds too much, <laughs> and um, and it just it just goes into his room and shuts the door for the night. And yeah, that's that's you guys with your magic stew in some cases and plain horrible yeah. stew in others and and yeah i've just gone i basically just bang, drink bam just get it done and over with i'm like i had that first taste after that i was like i don't need to experience that again let's just get it done boom <laughs> and, so, I, and, and again you are not in the golden bow there is no dessert whatsoever <laughs> although Fl flitty uh, exits via one of the windows and comes back with one of the bags and the, the the one that 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 he knows has got uh you know sweet snacks and things in Poof. that's heavy oh well it smelled horrible <laughs> and just sits down on the table scratch 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 for the fairy dragon again he... <laughs> Flitty is trying to make this a less horrific experience for you all. Probably not working hugely well, but trying. Yeah. Yeah. Sigwald's not not really so worried about <laughs> about like the food and how it tastes. Actually, he actually he was since he pressed the tutorial. Anyway, he's more worried about the about the pe about what 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 people are around. Yeah, th thankfully, most of them. I mean, they've they've given you a few dirty looks, but they they cleared out fairly quickly, uh, which does mean that Ren is giving you even dirtier looks because, particularly <laughs> Darwin, as he's he's doing this smirking because you're running his business out. Mm. So Darwin is just getting. Let's go. Let's ret let's retire for the evening. Yeah, this is too much like home. It's not a good thing. Uh, As I'm getting up, I'm walking over Clarity, hugging her, and then beelining back over to to, to Remy. <laughs> uh, like in the most awkward fashion possible. Uh, <laughs> right, that time. <laughs> <laughs> I just grab a key and go. Let me follow after him. Likewise, just take up the key, head head to my room, whichever it is. I'm just gonna stick to Remy for fear of doing anything wrong. <laughs> like breathing. It's probably smart. Uh, you, well, you you currently have a somewhat clingy half elf. <laughs> Just very close, like nearly orbiting the paladin. <laughs> and Remy has no reaction to this whatsoever. <laughs> it's, going, it's going to make removing keeping all... Keeping a low profile. Uh, well, that's, th this is continuing as you enter your shared room and is probably making removal of armor difficult. Uh, maybe, nud maybe nudging her <laughs> after that. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That just seems like that seems like the thing that would happen. <laughs> just a thought. <laughs> I am now remembering what was said earlier and checking the bed first. Perception check good from point. anyone who is actually checking. Yeah, actually. The bed. Sigwald's going to join, and even though it's oh, close, it's probably... Natural 20! 14. 19. Uh, I'll, I'll join in. Here we go. Where is perception? There it is. Oh, oh no! Fuck you! Five. Very good day. Wow. And Darwin has a 20 total. Okay. Everybody but Sigwald notices the yeah, there are bedbugs. Clarity also notices that the mattresses are straw, and that straw has not been changed for a little while, so it's kind of crunchy. Uh, I think mm. I'm going to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Unfortunately, as you can see, there is not a lot of floor space either. 
crap. <laughs> so how does this work? Does Froseth figure out there's bed bugs in his bed, or does he figure out there are bed bugs in both our beds? I think I think Froseth can extrapolate the fact that if there's yeah, okay. it's gonna be in both if it's in one. Nice. <sighs> Uh, I think well, Remy, I think that was a uh, I think that was a Remy be. from Hazel. Remy, wait, what? Yeah, you you haven't uh, you haven't rolled perception, but Hazel will probably be you know, flipping the mattress, going Remy, <laughs> Remy. Just give it a few good shakes. <laughs> what a light sniffer killed anybody. Probably. <laughs> then he found oh the house and out the front door. What? That, what? What? That building. Did Hazel just bolt out of the building? Apparently. Okay. Well, at least at least someone's more spastic than Sigwald is today. <laughs> so yeah. Remy's not following her. <laughs> well, Remy, Remy, she, Remy she has sleep dealt with the card if she wants to. Yeah. Well, Remy has Remy has dealt with a terrible lot worse. So Remy, yep. Remy is just like it's a bed. And yeah, even even when she lies down and the, the mattress is crunchy and kind of pokey, it's just sort of, I've dealt with this. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay. I'm not even sure bed bugs would be an issue for me. There are, there are, there are spots between scales, you know. There's, yeah. There's actual gaps. But in, in all fairness, um, you know... It, you might you might be a little bit too troublesome to bother with, and at the at the very least, you're probably not going to notice the prickling of the straw as much. So, it's like you know, I've actually slept on rocks. This is fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sigwald's just gonna sigh to himself and just mutter, "Well, this is happening." And and d d d probably does whatever one does to get to like get rid of bed bugs a little bit, like shake out like shake out the mattress yeah, or something. Can, yeah, you can you, just... can you can shake out the mattress and bugs go flying, and there is this crunch 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 noise uh, as the as the straw in the mattress shifts. So, Clarity. I take it out and yeah, I'll help you. it as much as I yeah. can. <laughs> I'll help you with yours. You help me with mine. Yeah, bad, I mean, true. bad, sorry, bad phrasing. Mm. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're, you're, you're not purple horned or named Hazeltine. You're fine. Or perhaps that should be purple horny and named Hazeltine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And I the has started again. Revenge. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll do that, and I'll pull. I'll Appropriate. Pull my, I'll pull out a little mirror and just sort of. You're not okay. gray anymore. My chiseled features are okay. Uh... <laughs> You're gonna have to put up with this until he finally falls asleep. Yeah. Okay, and Hazel's booked it out. Where has she gone? Because Yusuf, sensibly, is asleep in his cart. Well, actually, to be fair, he's not asleep yet. He's sitting in the box seat whittling. But he's, he's got his blanket out. And he's Listen, clearly it, been it, through it, here before. Is my bag of holding with, like, like, the camping gear and shit still in there? I imagine you were still wearing it when you were going to settle in. Uh, whether so then I am... Looking around for somewhere out of the way and not immediately in Yusef's way. Yeah, the 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 barn is not as well kept as it could be. Uh, it's clear that Yusef spent a reasonable bit of time clearing out uh, the, the, the 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 stalls that he had his horses in. And there's a couple of there are a couple of cleaner stalls though. Clearly, it's one of those. If you want it mucked out, you do it yourself. This is not exactly the best inn in in the world. It's it it really is the kind of place you stop because you have very little choice, and the 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 barman takes merciless advantage of that by doing. I'm as going around the back possible. and and just settling back out behind the thing. 
Yeah, you managed to find a, a spot that's actually like grass and not so much, you know, overcropped mud. And settle your bedroll down for the uh, for the evening. And unfortunately, it does kind of start to drizzle. Nah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm not going back in there. <laughs> so yeah, Remy, Remy just saw Hazel book it and is not coming, and she's not coming back. No, Remy's not complaining. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> and none of, none of the rest of us have any idea. Actually, uh, everybody but Hazel and Remy make me a perception check. All right. So, to go. be fair, Clarity probably doesn't have to with that percep with that nat 20. 17. She is basically aware of everything up into, up to and including Hazel feet. Pat, 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 slam. <laughs> Sigwell, uh, Sigwell got a 17 on on perception of Hazel running out the building. 19. Yeah, Furseth for once missed it, but um, Sigwald and Darwin and Clarity, all three heard this this quiet, whimpering, running footsteps that can only... Even, even Sigwald, by this point, knows Hazel running when he hears it. <laughs> Is this going to be another alley flashback? <laughs> Clarity, you heard that too, right? Yeah. Should we go after? I'll be right back. Um, I'm oh, going I'll... stealth. Okay. And I was about <laughs> to do sneaky little. But then, let's see, let's, let's see what these two the role is. Uh, yeah, I... Oh, I did disadvantage, but... Well, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take the 26. Yeah. Well, it's it's yeah. a choice between really good or really, really good, so <laughs> yeah. shut up! You basically went poof so quick, I was like, well, let me let me follow up. All right. In the mean meantime, Sigwald is turning to Frost. Never mind, then. Mm, it appears that Hazel just left the building. Should we go after her? <laughs> Did you just say Hazel has left the building? I love it. <laughs> and Frosif actually has to think about this. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you idiots, all of you. I mean, on one hand, I can't think of what trouble she'd get herself into at the moment, but then again, it's Hazel, and she'll find a way. <laughs> Well, it's more interesting to me than staying in here. I'll be back. And... <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. I go, I go out and go looking for Hazel. Yeah, yeah um, I'm looking for her. Uh, obviously, Yusuf doesn't say anything to Clarity because nobody can see Clarity right now. There's plenty. There's plenty of shadow. There's a sort of a, a, a low mist and drizzle, so visibility is not that great. Uh, Clarity is predominantly fine because Tiefling she can see in the dark. Um, Sigwald actually has to probably uh, mage light by that point to. Probably raise up a da raise up dancing lights or something. And and Yusuf will say, uh, she came through here, looking pale and kind of horrified, and she went around to the back. I think she is sleeping there. I hope she set up a tent, otherwise she is going to be soggy. And you do not want to see what the baths look like in there. Do not want to see that at all. Oh, yeah, like Clara, clarity by by that point, she'll she'll have heard that and looked around the back of the barn and see Hazel wrapped up in her bedroll with the the the, the bow at the back, starting to droop under the and under drip the a little. Soggy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that is so sad. <laughs> I'm just like I'm just picturing like anime Hazel, you know, just big <laughs> eyes, just. <laughs> To, to, to be fair, she probably got her eyes closed. So it's like, I'm trying to sleep, I'm trying to sleep, I'm trying to sleep. One hand sort of wrapped around her pale or simple. She's like, this sucks. This is a oh, my heart. Oh. We, have tents in the, we have tents in the bags of holding, right? Not really. Not you've really? Been, you've, been making, you've been mostly making lean-tos because tents have been... I mean, when you were in the... Uh, 
it, when you were in Golden Dale, you were either at the Hearth Hearts or you know, staying in inns, or you were in forested areas where you could build lean tos. One thing you guys did not do is pack anything for the the open plains. Although you do have Flitty, who's been checking up on you guys periodically, uh, land on Hazel's head and sort of extend the wings a little bit. At least, your, at least your bow will stay dry. <laughs> Thank you. Have I, have I found I'm Hazel by now? Me with the yeah. cute over here. Yeah, and you've got... I, I found her and I've already started wordlessly putting up a lean-to. Uh, give mm. me a survival check. All right, this should be fun. Fourteen. It, it, there's not a lot to work with. Because, I mean, it, it's plain that there's not a lot of, of greenery. But you did manage to find an old tarp and bits where the, 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 the more stable section has been kind of literally falling apart. So Hazel kind of looks up and sees this shadow sort of wrestling with this pole trying to keep a tarp over. I'm getting up and helping. <laughs> And by the time I've got here, I do. I, I yeah, say, you, you you see a a shadowy figure and Hazel. Mm -hmm. Trying to set up something that looks like a a somewhat. I mean, to be fair, it's probably a better lean to than you could manage because mm -hmm. your 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 camping skills are probably next to nil unless you have a specially crafted tent. But right. um, it's it's. It's still wibbly looking. I well, I came to this looking. Nah, um, hmm. I'm just gonna leave it at what you're doing is essentially uh, helping with the with the support, so it's going a bit faster. And mm -hmm. I'm not looking at too much in the way of disadvantage because of Clarity's incredibly low strength. And uh, I was going to, by the time I get up there, and I'm just going to assume the shadowy figure is Clarity, just by the way Hazel seems to be reacting to it, and I say, my dust coat's waterproof if you want it. This is too adorable. <laughs> I am. Um, once, once, the, once the lead to is stable, I'm, I'm going to hug Sigmund. Well. <laughs> so do you want the coat or not? Um, I guess that's a yes. All right. Take it off, head over to Hazel. And, Thank uh, you. And, uh... Hug again. <laughs> Sigwald hugs back. And, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep inside. Good luck in there, it's, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna need it. I'm going back upstairs too. Well, to be fair, it's not upstairs. It's a single. Oh, I'm it's going like inside. Inside, also. Bye. Bye. So uh, Sigwald's gonna go back to him and Froseth's room. He's gonna. He's gonna do an alarm ritual just on the inside of the door so it's inside the room but like it's just the alarm rituals yeah. covering the door to their room yep. and then he's gonna cast mage armor on himself and go to bed <laughs> wow <laughs> okay um those of you staying in the inn uh perception checks again oh oh boy okay all right. Three. Oh, oh no. So oh no. <laughs> come on, Sigwald. Come through for your for your dragon, bro. Eleven. Eight. Fourteen. Yeah, Remy, <laughs> Remy, Remy is the only one who actually half wakes up to hear the skitter 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 of little rodent paws. The rest of you, actually, to be fair, what does Remy do about the rats? They're, 
they seem to be intent on um, gnawing at the mattresses. Uh, she'll nudge her knapsack to make sure they're not getting into that, but then she's going back <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, yeah, Clarity finds that uh, any clothes that she went to bed in have been uh, gnawed. And there's a modicum of dropping. Um, the rest of you wake up to less nod, although uh, there is there there is a, there's a chomp taken out, uh, you know, nibbles at, from the edge of Sigwald's hat. I am suddenly very glad I was outside! <laughs> Big Wall just picks up his hat, looks in, just disappointing. What a disaster. <laughs> well, this might as well happen. <laughs> Press to digitate that too. Yeah. <laughs> At least the dropping. Un- un- yeah, un- unfortunately, um, if you don't have mending, you can't actually fix any of the things that were yeah. chewed on. Um, uh. There is, um, next to Froseth's, uh, pack, one fairly large dead rat. It got into his medicine kit and ate something it shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> this thing is about, you know, this, this thing is kitten big. It's, oh, my God, it's a track bunny. Yeah, it, effectively, it, it, it's, it's... Oh, it's, it's a New York City rat. It's yeah. a lot bunny. It's it. If it had a bit more neck, it'd probably be about Flitty's size. Oh my god, that thing is enormous. <laughs> like that big around. Wow. That's almost that's almost a rodent of unusual size, right there. It, it's not giant rat, but it's big. No. Rat. Yeah, like I said, almost. It's almost a roux. Well, it's it'd still be a rouse, actually. Yeah, Rouse. because the because the the S is still there with the singular, because it is a part of the acronym rather than. Yep, very uh, true. Yes, uh, Remy will find that. Um, yeah, given that Remy was the only yeah, Remy was the only one who didn't seem to care all that much. Um, Flitty apparently decided that uh, that 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 yeah, some you know he was going to care for you. So when you're pulling your knapsack out from under the bed, um, you find a rather bitten and clawed at dead rat and a rather proud looking flitty. Wow. Oh, that's adorable. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know that, you know that, you know that, 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 that cat look that's, that's, I, I left you this. Yes. Because obviously you you can't you can't speak to Flitty at all, but you you just you just see this dead rat and this dragon that's about its I'm size. I'm betting you've just... seen that, Kristen. That look, the the, the really satisfied cat look. Yes. <laughs> and sort of uh, clambers out the butts. Uh, butts Remy in the toes and then flies off to find the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, so for, for Seth gets there were furry things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I killed one! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I killed one. Nice, nice, nice. Well done. Day. Look, That's look, look, he's look gonna take the one that was dead outside of his his uh, pack, <laughs> and, like throw it out the the, the window. Like probably. not just out the door, but take it out and like throw it into a field or something. Well, there there is a window. And, if, and, and Fl- Flitty is sounding so proud of you. You got one too! <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> Actually, from the looks of it, it looks like it got itself. <laughs> 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 is any of this conversation audible like well, outside that of that room that depends on how how awake uh, uh darvin is if you like he can be sort of trying to go out with the various bits of his clothes to shake rat droppings out of mm -hmm. it so yeah you're, you're probably picking up through the door you got one too yay <laughs> and then just like because Sigwald's like in this deep tones that don't carry very far. Yeah, whereas Flitty uh, male mm -hmm. he is. That... is... <sighs> yeah, um, you you get you get Yusuf in, in in sitting in in the tap room going. I hope you do not take it amiss that we do not stay for breakfast. If you thought the stew was bad, you do not want to taste the porridge. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, let's just. Go. Let's leave early. You. Yeah, Hazel, the 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 misting rain stopped sort of halfway uh, through the night. You're a little cold, but the 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 the, the coat did wonders. And in all fairness, uh, Sigwald can probably be quite glad that he did uh, lend Hazel his great coat because. For all he knows, he would have found a sleeping rat in the pockets. <laughs> oh God! And it's just... well, you never know. He might have tried to make it a familiar. No. He's got. Lord. He's got. Flitty. No. He's got Flitty crying out loud. What else okay. does he need? You'd have a very right. jealous Flitty if you decided to go for I a didn't. rat. Okay. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Hazel wakes up to. This lot basically is stepping out and grumbling, and Yusuf uh, you know, pulling out the uh, pulling out the horses and grooming them down for. Uh... I think you're muted, Ethan. Sorry, no, no, I'm not. I was trying to speak quietly because I was wondering something. Oh. Can I tell if their clo that their clothing has been a little damaged? Perception check. Where did I? Nineteen. Oh yeah, you can you can see a um, couple of spots where they missed with prestidigitation, a couple of bits of nod, particularly the brim of Sigwald's hat, which you, you're you're hyper aware of the hat after all the trouble you've caused with it. I uh, I can fix some of that. Just I come, I come walking out like damaged bits. Like fingering a hole in my shirt going hey it's holy now great i i i'm going to point at that and cast an ending like uh, touch wait, let me get my finger out of the whoa neat <laughs> could you get mine for too, a while hazel? aren't i could you get mine think, too hazel i think clarity got it worse than me though um, i mean it's under my armor now so i'll i'm fine for now it's just holes Walking over and I'm casting mending. I'm not sure you can do that if you can't see what you're. Uh. You do manage to fix a slightly wonky buckle from one of their last particularly nasty fights, though. <laughs> huh. Okay, I'm just gonna. Spend the next however long required do casting mending on like everyone over and over. Yeah, it'll both mostly be um, Froseth's bag with the with his his medicine kit and the brim of Sigwald's hat, and of course you still have his great coat, which I have now returned, and I'm still just spending an extra twenty thirty minutes just. Going to each person and casting mending like five times just on them if I can. <laughs> yeah, they the by by that time the only one who's still got any kinds of issues is Clarity, but that's because you can't see any of the damage because you know the armor is covering it up at this point. Hey, hey, hey you fixed my boot. Nice, thanks. <laughs> 
And <laughs> as we are getting to about that point, what we will say is that uh, Hazel also managed to pass around some actually palatable breakfast for people to have while the mending was happening and the horses were fed. And we will come back in five minutes when you guys get back on the road and probably get to Sigwald's parents. Oh, oh I'm the so real bitter. boss fight. survived the worst in in Gray's Inn. And they spend another day or so on the road. Um, fairly uneventful, just uh, quiet plodding along the countryside and finding that you know, using using the various supplies and things um, is far superior to the inn they just left. Uh, wow. Anything anyone wants to do, discuss, whatever in that time? Right. Well, let's um, see. Well, Clarity is going to walk up to Hazel and say, um, would you walk with me? For a little bit? Okay. <laughs> Um, so we walk a little bit away from stay sort of off to the side of the cart, but not like but not you... necessarily within earshot. <laughs> yeah, away so that quiet voices won't necessarily be overheard, but if you have to yell for help or they do, you'll be able to hear them. Yeah. Um, and Clarity says, um, so I thought I'd address the proverbial elephant in the room um and i i wanted to apologize a little bit because um i i panicked obviously and um that's not the sort of reaction that should happen when 
you're kissed by a pretty girl and um i wanted you to know that um i it was pleasant and i liked it but um it threw me for a very big loop and um uh, no i i mean you you are how you are <laughs> and that's par for you know that's that's more or less what I would expect when you feel something. Um, but uh, I'm not I'm not entirely sure how I feel about all of it. Um, and to be honest, given the kind of work that we're doing, um, us having died once and very mm. sick having died once and Nora having died for good. Um, mm. Whether I want to be um, involved with anyone right now, whether I'm sort of emotionally prepared for it, um, I'm I'm self-aware enough to know that I have my share of my great share of issues, <laughs> but uh, mm. you know I and. Um, I, I value you as a friend, and I hope you know that how huge that is for me. I mean, mm -hmm. a month and a half ago, I had none of this, and it was um, kind of a revelation to find so many people who all kind of liked me, and to have been given this chance to be me and people liking me and you know, loving me and accepting me so quickly and um, but I'm also quite terrified by it. Um, um, I am our third thing, I'm sorry. No, it's like I said, it's my issues, uh, very large and complicated issues that I'm not entirely sure how to deal with. Um, but um, the idea of being with someone right now also terrifies me because we're going up against Tiamat and what happens if something happens and I mean we have lockets and things that are meant to prevent our permanent death and who has things like that and you know I I guess what I'm trying to say is that maybe someday I'll be ready but that day is not today all right you take as long as you need and so long as you be happy with what we're doing i'm fine all right and i'm going to hug clarity mm, i hug her back and hold her tight a little bit it might be a little awkward between us for a little while but i hope that sorts itself out yeah there's one thing i'm used to it's awkward <laughs> <laughs> You just keep being you, and everything will be all right. You got it. <laughs> we sort of so, always... I go over there then. Yeah. Well, while the awkwardness is not entirely gone, I'm pretty sure the four of you can more or less tell that however that conversation went, it's at least cleared the air enough that it's probably not going to be problematic in the not too distant future, which is probably good because uh, you know, this is the last night before you're liable to come up upon the Sullivan Plantation and presenting a united front might not be a bad idea. <laughs> I, I, I would like to say Froseth would have gone out of his way to be in a position where he couldn't read lips. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of thinking that, but thank you for uh, thank you for I, you. You guys mostly just see Froseth very deliberately sitting with his back to that conversation because you've never really explained that you can read lips. It's it's come up properly once. That's it. And even then, it was you just coming out with a bit of information, and given that you do that regularly anyway. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Rosa like, what? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, what? You're... 
Shut <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm just gesturing back and forth and back and forth to where we were to him. Process. What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 Why? How? I, I what? just thought we were Why yelling were you word. looking? What? Why? What? But you were far enough away for. Uh, huh? like, I, to, to be clear, I was specifically looking away from you two. Like, yeah, the, so like, I like I say, he was looking, looking. He was sitting yeah, that's very, what... very much with his back to you guys. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Hazel's just wondering why was he looking away like that much away? It's not like we were within earshot. And she's just a little like, boop, boop. why like, like... we were not, but what? it really out of the ordinary for me to sit and look in a direction? Uh, <laughs> fine. Fine. Whatever. I All right. assume he wants All to right. give you some privacy. All right, fine. Uh, deception check from Process, <laughs> insight check from Hazel, and anyone else who wants to make one. Oh, mm. that's great. Deception. 15. Wow. Okay. That's <laughs> well, I Ooh. Okay, since Hazel has I, the highest modifier, I, I am going to try holding I'm... something back. You just can't tell what. And no, Sigvold has. Been, whoops! Whoops! Sorry, wrong roll. Wrong roll. Shame that. All right, never mind. <laughs> I'm not bothering. Really good roll. I'm not bothering. I'm just going. You were like, what? 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 I was like, what? What? Who? Where? Why? I, I thought we were just yelling random words. What? <laughs> You're just such a barrel of doof. So, Sigwald, so, like, we're going to your family now? Yes. Ye yes, as a matter of fact, we are. Okay, and, well, given, uh, what, given some of the stuff Lisa said, should we be, be concerned? Mm. Honestly, you don't know. They never really mentioned their views on other races. Well, it's going to be it's going to be a surprise. They never mentioned their views on races to me, but uh, yeah. they had they were perfectly happy to send me to Belarus and um, didn't say anything in particular about how I sh about how I should behave around any teeth any te any teeth rings or anyone else basically. anyone else that I, that I met. Any no, any non humans, right. and uh, so I all right. think well. I think they're all right with them. Oh, and I did send them a letter saying that I would that I was dropping in back at um, at uh, Baronsvier to take care of some business on behalf of the academy. So uh, they won't be surprised to see me dropping in, but they are going to be surprised to see the rest of y'all. So okay, well you lead off then. I mean it's your family, yeah. so obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully, the introduction of of us to your family goes a little bit better than theirs to mine. I hope so. Can't go much worse. Of course, <laughs> of course I don't think you. I don't think you two actually got that story. So, <laughs> Just leave it at that. <laughs> Well, given, Actually, given the tone of voice, it's one of those things of do we really want to ask? And all, exactly. all and all Sigwald could really remember is last time he saw his mother, he was putting a sword through her heart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Why not ask? <clears throat> all right. Slowly coming to terms with everything. <laughs> so, um, all right. I guess we're going to be moving off. Yeah, and it, it's a, it's another moderately uneventful night. Um, you start approaching. You, you, you're Sigwald can tell that you're in Sullivan Plantation grounds. Um, you know, long before you see the uh, the the houses, the the horses in the, uh, in the in the near in the nearby plains on either side are really sleek, uh, you know, racy kind of 
beast that Darwin will probably have uh, have have seen a time or two, but are a little bit more delicate than Froseth's experience, for example, would uh, would would indicate. And Remy mostly just gets. Yeah, they raise stuff like that in the Southern Lands, but usually a bit hardier. These ones would die if you put them in a desert for like <laughs> five minutes. They're they're built they're built for they're built for speed, not stamina. And you know, not so much on the general hardiness. Mm. You get to uh it's a mid-sized, comfortable-looking uh, plantation house with a few uh, side cottages uh, somewhere between lunch and dinner. And uh, whoa! And it 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 make it makes it makes hearth home look like the um, you know like like the little tiny farmstead that it is. And this is this is this is people who are comfortably off by you know Darwin would recognize this as upper middle class, um, not huge money, but the money they have is old. It's they've been they've been running this place for a while. They know their investments and they're doing pretty well for themselves and have been for a few generations. In clarity. This place is almost as big as the Baron's place back in Goldendale. Actually, yeah. slightly bigger and certainly a bit more ornate than the Goldendale. It's huge! Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's, um, hmm. They haven't had to sell anything off. Yeah, uh, Sig Sigwald knows that part of the reason it's the size that it is is because, um, you know, uh, ranch hands and seasonal help need some place to stay. What and, in the, uh, this is huge. Well, a big, well, a big ranch needs a big house for all the farm hands to stay. That's still a lot of house. <laughs> it's a lot of ranch. Therefore, a lot of hands. Uh, it didn't happen. I'll more I'll, eloquent than usual, Hazel. Well, you, Yusuf, Yusuf says uh, I bring you to main house, but I have business with the uh, with 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 the field foreman. Uh, I have some of this feed to deliver. Uh, I will probably be sleeping in my cart. I will eat with the uh, ranch hands, and I will meet you in the in the guest stables in the morning so that right. we can continue our journey. Enjoy your visit with your family, if you can. I, ho I hope so. And pauses to let you all out of the car at the main house before uh, carrying on down the road to a more hearth home main house-ish kind of sized uh, building about 400 yards away from the main house. Um, Sigwald uh, hops hops out of the cart, marches up to the front door, and goes, "I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take care of it from here." And um, I, I, uh, I, is there a door? Is sorry, there is not a doorbell. There is a knock. -up. Okay, all right. Well, I knock. Well, I knock on. I knock on the door. Um, it, ta it takes a minute. A uh, door opens, and it's one of the older, more uh, established uh, farmhands. A uh, gentleman by the name of Smith. Frankly, he's, uh, he's, 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 there. There have been Smiths as long as there have been Sullivans in this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, ah, young Sigwald, that I you under all that fur. Yeah, that that is. I uh, haven't had the time. I haven't had the time to shave lately. Um, our our <laughs> mom is in here. Like I'm outright laughing in character back in the back. He, the, well, no, because the, the the cart's moved on. You guys are out by this point. Yeah, looks in the back at, of the group. Yeah, look, looks, back of the group. Yeah, looks at looks at where the laughter's coming from, 
and she's with you. Yes, she's with me. They're all with me. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> ain't nothing to do with me. It ain't my house. Um, you, 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 your, your, your ma's in the office. Your pa's out in the fields. So it's, it's going to be gonna be your ma you're talking to. And nothing, nothing to do with me. i got some business to tend to. Without a word to any of you, he's out and gone. <laughs> um, well, that six, didn't go well. Uh, all right, you. All right, y'all can come in. Uh, make, uh, wipe your feet. Make yourselves at home in the li in the living in the living room right here. I'm gonna go up to the office and let Ma know that you're all uh, no no know what the situation is. Yeah, um, like I say, it's okay. the the inside is you know, much much like the outside. It's more comfortable and certainly more furnished than the uh, Golden Dale. Barony Manor, because again, no one's had to sell anything off. It's, despite its size, it's got a certain homey and lived-in kind of feel for something that's nudging in the direction of grand, at least for a couple of you. It is full-on grand to me. <laughs> yeah, Cl Clarity is obviously seen grander, uh, but, you know... It, for her, the main thing is not a lot of bookshelves. Not here, anyway. Usually when I'm in... Clara is just like, <laughs> want to touch anything? I might break it. Clarity's looking around so just sort of mutters, well, usually when I'm in places like this, it's under the cover of night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, but, but as Sigma walks off and he hears, if he, if he clears clarity, say that, you might not want to mention that to Mom. Mentioning it to you. And then I head off upstairs. If, okay. if the office is upstairs. Uh, the office is actually downstairs. The upstairs okay. is more, uh, it's a, it, it, it's a two-story place, but the top level is actually smaller. Okay. So there's, there's a lot of balcony space uh, right. covering the, the flat roof, but um, the upstairs is entirely family living quarters. Um, the uh, downstairs is a uh, you know, ranch hand, uh, you know, senior ranch hand and temporary staff housing and the office as well as the the big dining room the more comfortable family dining room the kitchen there is a library upstairs just nothing mm. book wise down here except in the office uh where as you're approaching the door uh you do hear uh that there there is a noise that you haven't heard from the family in a in, in a while, uh, sort of a, <laughs> a gurgling and laughing of a very small child. So when he looks in, he actually sees his mother sitting at her desk, a tallish woman, uh, sigwald brown hair, uh, very pale eyes, uh, rocking a cradle with her foot as she does the paperwork. Looks at Sigwald! Do I have a new baby sibling? <laughs> you you got you got yourself a sister. Oh, oh. Sigwald immediately it was like like halfway between like going hi mom I'm home and going oh my god I have a baby sister. Her name is her name is Sarah. Oh. That's with two R's. You know what we're like about the S names. And I, I, I was going to write to you, but then your letter came through and said you were going to be coming through some kind of venture bit of nonsense. Not entirely what we were expecting when we sent you off for schooling, but as long as you're happy, I, I reckon. Either. I didn't expect it either, but it, it all turned out for the best. And I couldn't be happier. Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. It's nice to meet you, Sarah. 
<laughs> Maybe this kid is only a few months old, so sort of looking at you. It clearly only just started being able to focus, so it really is just... <laughs> just eh? frowns. <laughs> it's that whole, like, semi-cross-eyed... Uh, well, if, 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 if he's leaning down, mostly when he gets his little little hand pulling on his beard. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my, oh, you are precious. Oh, oh and by the way, speaking of adventures, I found myself my own little ragtag band of adventurers. And, if, and I'd like you to meet them. Right. Uh, any friend of yours? Uh, it picks up, picks up, Sarah. And uh, I and uh, I and I lead him out and I say, "Oh, by the way, out of character, what is my mom's name?" <laughs> oh God, Eliza. Okay. It's Eliza right. and Sam Samuel Sullivan. Okay. <laughs> this is adorable. All right, so I, so I uh, lead a lot. I lead Eliza, Eliza and Sarah out, and I say, El El Eliza, meet the cupcake coterie. Cupcake coterie, meet a lot. Meet my mom, Eli Eliza Sullivan. And I go around to each of them. Didn't actually warn them of that, and you oh. could tell. The expression on her face when she walks in and she sees the exact nature of the motley ragtag band <laughs> that him going to immediate to, to, to warn ahead of time somehow didn't happen. Because oh. the look is the look is pure <laughs> shock. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh no. Um, Howdy. This uh. this is Froseph. Dragonborn martial artist. This is Darvin Taylor. Darvin Taylor, musician and arcanist extraordinaire. This is Hazel Harthart. Hazel Harthart, dev devoted to, devoted devotee of Paylor. This is this is my this is my my friend from Belarus, Remy Crestwind, Paladin of Trithurian. and this is Clarity. Holding her, her child a little bit tighter. It's nice to meet y'all. Are y'all staying? Only, f only for the, only for the night. We're gonna be leaving in the mo We're gonna be leaving in the morning. We gotta head back to Bellaries. Well, we, we, we got some, we got some of the 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 staff rooms still available, as we're we're winding down for the year, so. Lucky you came at this time and not last week. Uh, I'll go and tell the kitchen to set a few extra places. Is, are there any, I know, uh, dietary things I need to be looking at? Looking at Frozef at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't know. All she sees is teeth. <laughs> I, I'm giving I'm I'm giving Sigwald a look and then sort of <laughs> sidling closer to Clarity. No, yeah. no. Clarity also gets the the look when you know to, 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 when, when, although some some there's a certain note in the any dietary requirements. It sort of please don't ask for the hearts of small children. We only have one, and I want. Well, this went somewhere interesting real, real quickly. But she's, she's, she's maintaining as polite as she possibly can in the face of what is really, <laughs> really shock. Okay. And she's still waiting for a response before she gets oh. to the kitchen. I'm fine with whatever you have. No, no special dietary requirements. And same same as us humans. Same as us humans, Ma, don't you worry. <sighs> Guess I should have mentioned they are. This is especially ragtag. I, I believe the phrase you're I looking for is motley. Yeah, what he said. 
Just you, you know, I you know I never really had a way with words. More reading them than saying them. I'm Sorry, Mom. Just gonna let you talk to your friends and go talk to the kitchen. Um, it's nice to meet yo. Welcome to nice our to meet home. Meet you too. Uh, <laughs> takes a couple of steps back and. You hear clack, 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 clack. And the, 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 feet speed, the, the feet don't speed up until she's out of line of sight. But she has some fairly uh, nice shoes with hard heels. So you hear clack, 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 clack. Get down the corridor. I am face palming. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. But at least we're actually getting a meal out of all this. I want you to know that I want you to know that the restraint at having um, not said the various things that were running around in my head, um, <laughs> I I might have considered saying that I haven't sacrificed any virgins lately, but I'm <laughs> cutting back. <laughs> Maybe say that for someone who isn't directly related. Now I'm giving clarity a look, like. <laughs> Sigwald, Sigwald is Please dying don't. on the inside. Like, well, I, and that's why I restrained myself. And nobody's going to call him on the fact that he clearly didn't warn her at all. Oh, so we, you... we can tell he noticed. <laughs> I am yeah. Bag, pulling out a couple of sweets and just holding them out in front of Clarity. Okay. <laughs> all right. That went far worse than I expected. Well, it could have gone a lot worse, but, you know, it didn't. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't great, worse. but it wasn't bad. <sighs> I'm going to see if I can find Dad, find Dad and take, do a take two. <laughs> yeah, uh, Luck! By, by this hey, watch point, over you. <laughs> by, by this point, um, by, by this point, uh, you know that your father would probably be in the foreman's office, probably overseeing uh, paying Yusuf for uh, for the feed. All right. So I go, I go, I go to the foreman's office. See if my dad's there. He's he's there. He's, uh, he's all right. He's, he's counting out gold into a into a sack and giving it. I to guess Yusuf the rest of us are just staying put where we are. I guess. All right. All right. I certainly am. I'm not moving an inch. I'm afraid I'm going to break something. And he, he comes in just in time to uh, hear. Hi, Pa. Ah, Sigwald. Uh, Yusufir was just telling me about your uh, your band of friends there. Yeah, did, their, yeah. Their hearts, he did. Are, their hearts are in the right place. Their brains are all over the place. They are far too silly to do any harm to anything, ever. Thank you very much. He takes his takes his. his it's, it's a fairly good sized sack of gold. The, the fee well, is it's... expensive. I I go. I leave you to your family chattings. Well, as long as he uh, well, as long as Yusuf also told you that they're they are all humanoids, not all human. And how? What? How one, humanoid one's a, we talking about here, Sigurd? One's a dragonborn, one's a half-elf, one's a tiefling. Why? <laughs> he looks more confused How do I break how do I break else? thing to you easily? Ah. Pop it. Pop, you got you gotta understand, living in the city. All, all kinds of folk. They all just start looking like, looking like human, looking like hu looking human to you when you're around them long enough. And sometimes it's just I, I, I forget that that uh, dra that dragon bones are, are awful rare around here. So seeing a dragon bone to you is going to be like one of our racehorses seeing just a scrap of paper flapping around on the ground. What color is this dragonborn? Silver. Metallic. He can be trusted. Well, they, 
ain't so bad, but you know, you talked to your ma. You met Sarah. Yes. You got I a six-month-old miss... sister and best of intentions. That's that's some that's them that's some claws. Them dragonborns got. I'll be sure to let them know not. I'll be sure to let them know not to ha not to handle Sarah. If if you're worried about them claws. I'll meet him in reserve judgment. He might not even wanna. The, you said a half elf. Yeah, half elf, half human. One parent, one parent human, other parent elf. And do you know anything about their people? How how do you mean about their people? Sorry, uh, the, their the, in in countrified terms, their people mean their family, their birth family. I don't know about their birth family. She was adopted by a pair of halflings. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's this half elf from? She's from Go she's from Goldendale. Oh. Name's Hard Hard, ain't it? You betcha. Oh. <laughs> so that one's been raised with all manner of I don't know what. <laughs> and a tiefling? Also raised by the Hearth Hearts, as far as I can tell. Done, done, done. I hesitate to say that blood will out. Sometimes the apple falls a great way from the tree. I'm a tr gonna try to reserve judgment here. Because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> we got a reputation for hospitality. And we're gonna keep it best we can. But you gotta understand, Sigwald. We ain't had the experiences you had. Now they, you bring them on our doorstep. And what are we supposed to do? We ain't, we ain't heard nothing about these people. Right. I would, I would have written to you, but sadly, we were traveling faster than post could have. Insight check. Oh boy. Ah, uh, portent or roll, portent or roll, portent or roll. <laughs> uh, portent. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. I'm gonna burn my sixteen on this okay, for in, for insight. You said. Yep. My insight modifier is plus two, so that comes out to eighteen. You can see him visibly fighting, not to say you could have not brought them home. But he's not going to do that, because if nothing else, hospitality. To be fair, your mother was actually nicer about the whole thing. Yeah. I think it's probably best if I give my apologies for dinner tonight. I'll eat with the ranch hands. I don't want to shame you in front of your friends. Yeah. That, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair, Paul. If you ain't if you ain't comfortable being around being around the being around these and extra he human gives folk, you this look. Don't you judge me, boy. I was trying to give you an out there. You could have just said yes, Paul, and left, and we could have kept some semblance of civility to this. I reckon you got yourself some serious airs in that big city university we paid for you to get into. Go have dinner with your family. Yes, pal. And I turn on the heel and walk out, head held high. Uh, mean, meantime, um, you guys have had Eliza uh, come back uh, a Sarah in a little sling uh, in the front, and she's actually brought out a tray of uh, 
tea and some snacks. Uh, dinner will be in about an hour. Uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted to apologize. I don't see anybody who's not human, specifically human, and I got a little shocked. I do apologize. Uh, <sighs> and sets sets down. I mean, you're you're still having the the conversation with your your father okay. for a little while longer. Um, as <sighs> as 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 Eliza comes near Froseth, you've got Sarah sort of reaching out and grabbing at one of uh, one of the fringes at the back of Froseth's head. <laughs> And yeah, you see, you see, you see Eliza being a little nervous, but mostly because teeth. Sorry about that. I hope, I hope she didn't hurt you. <laughs> of course, Hazel's probably yeah. thinking him and little girls. <laughs> <laughs> Skylar's gonna get a kick out of hearing about this. My little sister had the, the, the same reaction. Kids like him a lot. He's great with kids. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. And she she gives uh, Froseth a long look and then goes, "You want to hold her? She's a little squirmy, but um." And she seems to be earnest in in the offer. Mm. Like, is, is she offering more... Like, the, does she still seem, like, nervous about it, though? Because he doesn't want to... It's 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 more of a... He's a martial... I, yeah, there, there, there's, the, there's the same nerves that any mother handing her child to a stranger would be, but you can see he's a martial artist. He knows how to be careful. He must okay. do. Sigwald trusts him. He's, he's okay. In that case, yeah, he'll, uh, oh, sure, I'll hold her for uh, a moment and, like, you know, gently and. Yeah, she, she, she's, act she's actually, and... as Sigwald comes in, he actually sees his mother sort of arranging for, so sorry, no, you, you, you gotta support the head there. I, I know it's probably a little awkward because you're a bit. There you go. And Sarah just kicking her, kicking her legs. See? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just it's, it's amazing. It's just and, and I turn and I turn to the to the quarterly and I say, "Y'all get y'all getting along well." Um, well, yeah. look, <laughs> you, you, you just you just get Sarah going. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Sick process working his magic today. <laughs> well. Metaphorically seems, speaking, seems your real seems your real big hit with Sarah Froseth. Seems like hit with everybody who's little. And she, she actually looks a little pulled at herself. It did, did. Well, this is hardly fair. Sorry for a sort of take. You you held you've held <laughs> Siggy's sister before he, before he got to. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Funny Look how here. that works out. Sorry, also, Sigwald. Also, I'm I'm gonna have to ask you to watch your little sister while I go and see to the last little bit of dinner. Uh, of course, of course, Mom. I'm, I'm I'm hoping that roast beef's all right for y'all. Ooh, I haven't had that in a minute. Uh, she, there she, is she, a she very arranges, happy half elf. Uh, she, she she arranges uh she arranges uh. Sigwald's arms so that he's holding Sarah properly, head support and everything. Now, y'all play nice with your little sister. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've, I've set out some tea for your friends. And, uh, where's your pa? He's out, he's out in, at the foreman's office and um, I'm, I'm sorry I was so abrupt with you about the, about the sort of friends I made and um, yeah, um, Pa was a little rattled to find out find out about what kind of folks these are, and um, for the sake of his nerves, he's going to be dining with the farm hands tonight. Uh, well, I'll I'll have a word with you, Pa tonight, and uh, I I can't 
pretend that I'm 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 not a cosmopolitan lady the likes of uh, likes of some. So you know, sometimes all I got to go on is the things to hear in uh, various bits of news, you know. And all I can say is that some are more set in their ways than others, but mm-hmm. you made friends with them, and you were mm-hmm. never, never, never a boy who made friends too easy. And if you trust them, you don't do that much or well. So I reckon to give them the benefit of, not even the benefit of the doubt, they're, they're people. Anyhow, I gotta go see to dinner. You mm. entertain your friends. Keep an eye on your sister. Pats him on the cheek and ruffles his beard a little bit and heads out. And uh, thank you. I give tea. a kind of recipro- reciprocal pat on like the upper arm as she does that. And she she heads out. Yeah, it, it, I don't imagine it takes much insight to tell that uh, Sigwald's kind of fuming. A little bit. You can also almost see the steam coming out of his ears under his hat. Uh, okay. Sid- well, well, I had a talk with Pa, and um, oh, he got he got um, he restrained himself, but he got pretty upset when he found out that I was associating with a half elf dragonborn with teeth ring. <laughs> Dragonborn, oddly enough, least so, being metallic. Though I must say, I've met the. Uh, I'm just. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I understand. Truth no, is, nobody gets under your skin like family. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I thought I'd come back home, and it'd feel just as like home as when I left. But it's less so. And it's just. It, it, mm. It's disappointing. Air, I, I feel sad. Slowly. <laughs> oh dear. Hazel. I know. I know. Not your place. <laughs> it's, it's, I know. It's it's why I'm not saying a word. All right. Sarah, you're going to understand that it don't it don't matter if if people got horns or if they giant or tiny, they're all people. Yep. You can understand that, right? Reaches for his hat. <laughs> 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 She's six months I, I, old. <laughs> well, I'm going over and wiggling fingers in front of her, and she holds on, just sort of tugging. Yeah, so, so you basically get the, the little 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 baby tug of war. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm just holding holding my new baby sister Sarah the whole time. Through this, 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 this I, I imagine that you know, Clarity <laughs> is doing the you know, hello, kitty, kitty. Uh, uh, Eliza walks in on this. Uh, it's probably Froseth being the perceptive one who notices mm-hmm. that she's probably been standing there for for a minute or so watching Clarity play with the uh, with Sarah, and then <clears throat> uh, I got dinner on the table. Mm. Oh, excellent. Give it back! Give it back! Yes, Eliza takes Sarah. Uh, <laughs> I'm still looking a little Studio Ghibli esque. Uh, 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 hang on a second. Uh, hands hands uh, Sarah back to Sigwald. Uh, pulls a brush out of an apron pocket. Turn around! Brush, 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 brush. Uh, sort of a half braid. You hear a little a snap of. Elastic isn't really something that you guys have encountered. It's something that they get from somewhere in Equitas. So Sigwald knows what it is, but all I know is that there's something stretchy and pink. So the bow's still there, but there's a the the, the hair is tamed. Is, what is going on? Oh, it's nice to see that some that, that some things are universal across all mothers. Well, it was gonna get in her dinner. Right. Pat, it, it was, Pat, yes. Pat, Pat. Very Just much so, yes. Padding. Thank you. Really <laughs> the whole thing it. around and going, what the? <laughs> really appreciate it. That was marvelous. <laughs> or marvelous. Uh, take, take Sarah back. Marble? Really? Really? Marble puns? I'm going to have to ask about that. 
but I'm going to go make sure Sarah gets something to eat first. Uh, people are not, uh, I don't reckon that uh, y'all need to see uh, baby eat. So I'll be with you in just a little bit. So with that, leaves uh, she... Sigwald to preside over uh, dinner for uh, at least the first little while. But, but before before Eliza leaves, elastic. I get... A lot, before Eliza leaves, I ask you, should should we wait for you? No, no, you you, you go ahead. You don't want anything to get cold now. Besides, you've been on All the right. road for how long now? Hmm. Week? Yeah, about that. Less, less than a week, about half no, a week. No, it's been, oh, it's, been, been about a... it's been about a okay. week. It was. All right. It was about the fourth day that the cockatrice thing happened. Another couple of All days, right. uh, uh, after that traveling to get here so it's been about a week now it'll all be right. the seventh okay, be... day when you guys wake up tomorrow all right all right yeah. well um well let's see i it's like all right so so right here here's what we got um i'll be uh, here's what we got yeah. and it's like and so i imagine there's like there's roast beef there's um yeah. and it's, it's, whatever it's 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 it's, 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 it's a moderately simple roast beef dinner um mm -hmm. in all fair in all fairness uh the the hearth hearts uh probably do a little bit better on the spices but it's well cooked it's Is compared to green, some, some compared, kind of bread yeah compared to some of the meals you've had particularly at the blind harpy uh that you're, you're looking forward to this feel completely enthralled by the braid and elastic. My like, God, this actually this smells like actual distracted. food. Like I'm looking at Sigwald every couple of seconds, but I'm still staring at this thing attached to my hair. <laughs> right. So uh, I guess I I go around s serving everyone dinner. Yeah. Um. I, it, it, I, once you guys have sat and at least started on your dinners, uh, you get Eliza coming back and you know playing hostess. Uh, you know, asking where everybody's from, uh, what you've been up to, and most of all, um, so I gotta admit to being curious, uh, why y'all traveling with Sigwald? He didn't say that much about why he was traveling at all. Oh man, it's it's a long story. Uh, have you heard? Have you heard about what happened at Star Coast? Well. I heard that there's some weird kind of fog, and it's it, it's making you know, no one can dock there. I haven't been able to in a week and a half now, something like that. Well, yeah. The situation is well. It's it's non -vo it's non volatile at, volatile as of now, but there there was some. Awful misuse of magic going on there. Is that and, not a town anymore? Is that, that why you're traveling with Paladin? Yep. Has yeah. Has Remy actually found any place to take off her armor? Yeah, she probably did that at some point. Now that they're yeah, but relaxing. Uh, it re it really was sitting sitting in the parlor in. No, no offense to you, young lady, but you could have taken your armor off before sitting on my good chairs. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, you yeah, know, it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can afford whatever repairs or reupholstering. But uh, right, we all know that my Sigwald isn't so good with words. So if any of y'all wanna at least try and explain what's going on here. Well, uh, well, because of that whole magic thing that happened to Star Coast, we are on our way to Belarus to give the governor a letter, because the source of that hoodoo is still at large, and uh, yeah, we're, we we're... aim to stop it. Yeah, what he right. says. How, That's it. How how you got? Who's rotten to the? Governor. Hmm. The hot hots. The hot hots. Apparently, there. Apparently, there's a lot more. To, a lot more to the hot hot family than we first thought. 
I could have told you that. <laughs> you were a bit young. Yeah. You were a bit young for that story. Oh, he got he got the story. <laughs> I take it you met him then. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, we definitely we met mom and mama. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, so the rumors are true. Uh, Rand Harthart and so much uh, uh, the 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 young man we all heard about. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Most of us have guessed that anyway. Um, I don't know if Sigwald's ever really mentioned, but we deal a whole lot in the uh, clandestine information trade. Gray's Inn yeah. does that a whole lot. Thanks, Hazel. And it's probably kind of why, uh, why dear old Sam is not so uh, keen on some folks. He hears all the stories, and they always involve some band of yahoos, and there's mm-hmm. always someone who ain't quite human, and. Then you hear about cults rising up in the southern lands and things to do with demons. That probably makes him all uppity about. Plus, he's always had that blood will out thing. Mm, mm, I hate that phrase. <sighs> mm yeah, well, anyway, this whole thing has already cost us a lot on a number of levels, and we just as soon see it ended as soon as possible. So that's why we're doing what we're doing and why we've all banded together. Well, looks at Sigwald. <laughs> Your father's going to be terribly disappointed when he finds out he could have had dinner with a bunch of epic heroes, and he missed out <laughs> on it just because he's afraid of couple of horns, some pointy ears, <laughs> and some teeth. To be fair, uh, we've saved each other's lives. A new, oh my God, I'm, how, I have lost count of how many times by now. And we're going to keep doing it. Darwin, mm. let, me, let me have my little joke. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to lighten the mood here. Fair. Speaking of funny... All the weird stuff keeps happening to you, Darwin. Uh, wait. Why, why are we having... Does this have anything to do with the marble puns? Oh. A little bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there was a oh, joke yeah. about a rabbit in on there the somewhere. Way to, on the what way to... Oh, wait. We had a run in with cockatoo. Which actually pieces. reminds me, Clarity, was I at least an inspirational statue? The expression on your face was a little less than inspirational. Uh, I find the fuzzy variety a little better. That's right. <laughs> oh, once you finish with dinner, I got something to show you. Point to get clarity. It's, oh, oh. it's a surprise. Oh. Now, what's this about rabbit? Oh, <laughs> sometime back. Uh, you got, got turned into a bunny. Yep. <laughs> I uh, kind of made some picks. He's a little bit angry. And then blame me for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it all my best out day. Out. And it so they turned, turned him into out. a bunny. Yep. That, that, that gets some blinking and then some laughing, which only becomes more mm. of an oh, oh, oh when she sees uh, a flitty sort of am- ambling around the table, sort of uh, like taking occasional nomps. <laughs> and flitty comes near me, extra scritches. That's Fletty. Well, I actually heard... saved our butt on more than one occasion as well. I, I, I heard tell about fairy dragons, but uh, ain't never seen one. Well, we t- we like to joke that she's the most competent member of the team. He. Joke? He. Joke? Uh, 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 that ain't no, that ain't no joke. That's bad. Yeah, that the 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 Fletty saved. That there was a. Thing that came from the bad magic hoodoo, and and Flitty just went all dragon at it, and and it was just staring at the sky for most like of the time. Five minutes. Yeah. Flitty, meanwhile, has uh, decided to start uh, circling Sarah. So it looks up, and you guys get really small. Hey. 
Is this in Draconic or Sylvan? Draconic. Yes. Uh, if if you, I mean, I if you want, well, Frestas, do you want to translate? Say it sure. again. I'm saying this in Sylvan. Yeah, so it's, 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 you get really small. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So you, you do get, however, get Sarah, because Sarah's clearly in grabby stage. Uh, little, 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 little hand around, uh, around Flitty's neck. <gasps> No, 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 oh. Sarah, 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 no, no, oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you get really Sorry, small Flitty. and... And, 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 and did, did, are they trying to murder me? No, 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 no. no. That's, that, that's not intentional. Sorry, Flitty. He, she's, she's a baby. She's still they learning get, how to use her hands. Yeah, they get... It's like that. Oh. So she needs things to grab. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> flies over, grabs hold of a bread roll, flap, 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 and is just <laughs> dangling it for Sarah. <laughs> just for grabbing. And, uh, you can't get Sarah just sort of uh, grabbing at, at bread roll. <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine that as this is happening, Sigwald is kind of translating for Eliza. <laughs> well, as long as... Uh, as long as your your little blue winged friend here doesn't uh, make uh, make Sarah stare at the at the sky for extended periods, of time. No. Well, well, no. well, 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 we'll deal with that. As 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 dinner uh, completes, uh, with, uh, and uh, Sigwald, you're happy to you you're welcome to show uh, your friends the grounds, uh, I suppose there's not all that much to see if you're not interested in horses, but I do have something to show your uh, your friend Clarity here if you want to come with me. Oh, yes. Um, I follow her. You come, you, you come to uh, a well-built little, little building. It's clearly not human habitation. Uh, opens the door and ushers a uh, clarity in and inside there are eight shaggy sort of herd dogs <gasps> i love dogs i had a oh, no. hello puppy <laughs> and she, 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 she gives she gives a little whistle and all eight of them just bound up the clarity <laughs> butting him for, 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 for the and she's just like uh Treats are in that bag up on that high hook up there. Don't spoil them too much or they're going to get sick. But have fun. Just uh, make sure you're in bed at a halfway reasonable hour because they got to be up real early for hurting tomorrow. But they did, right. good. they did a good job today. So they deserve some petting. No, oh, and they're going to get so much petting. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you guys, you guys see Eliza just looking really proud of herself, so. and looks at Sigwolf. I introduced her to the dogs. Oh, that, we're not going to see her for hours. Was, <laughs> so uh, that was uh, the best Ms. movie Eliza? you possibly could have done for her. She loves animals of all uh, kinds. I had a feeling. When she Thank was talking about uh, when she was talking about fuzzy inspiration, I thought, "Sorry, you were saying." How fuzzy are the dogs? You're welcome to go in and have a look. I'm sure that I'm sure that Clarity's running out of hands. I'm getting up. I am heading over that way. Yeah, they're 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 they're, 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 they're sort of shaggy sheep doggy looking things. Oh my god, you are so fluffy! <laughs> you guys hear this rocket, this, this bellow rocketing. Anyone else want to go experience the fluffy, or...? <laughs> you know what, sure, why not, let's go. <laughs> Sigwald's also going to join in. Let him yeah! Uh, you've, you've, been, you've, you've been playing with some of these since you were small and so were they. So, <laughs> they, 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 they all know you fairly well. They're, they're probably like running around in circles in front of my knees and meekly leaning into me. Yeah, and the, well, there there is a certain amount of sniff, sniff, sniff. You smell different. I have to smell every inch of you. 
<laughs> be a paws on shoulder, sniff, 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 sniff. sniff. But Sigwald is Sigwald is just kind of kneeling down, kind of lying down, so they can all kind of. <laughs> yeah. If any of them do the pause and the uh, hug, <laughs> Clarity's doing that thing where a whole like run around thing. With one of them. <laughs> and Clarity's doing that thing where she's just giggling, but they're like all licking her face and then like getting it in her mouth. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a half elf running around like a living pinball with a dog behind her. Sigwald basically getting covered in snuffles. Clarity covered in dog drool. Dog drool. <laughs> um, Darwin hugging the biggest, fluffiest thing imaginable. Yep. Yep. And these two, the same pair, just watching this mess. Confusedly, <laughs> probably. Well, you you do you do get one you do get one of the dogs sort of trying to play with Frosa's tail, just pounce, pounce, pounce. <laughs> Make a game out of it, just twitch it right <laughs> at the right time. <laughs> Is Remy getting involved in the dog-related shenanigans? She'll get into the edge of it. There, there, there's, there's probably one, here, the, 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 one, of the, one of the older ones who's not quite up for quite the, the shenanigans. Walks up to Remy, sits, offers a paw. The edge, oh. the edge of the posh pit. <laughs> you are horrible. Wow. You are so horrible. <laughs> uh, but, and after after a while of this, if you guys barely even notice when the sun uh, starts to go down. So it's only it's only it's only when you hear Eliza go. If y'all want any hot chocolate for bed, you best head out now that you realize it's twilight. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh okay, oh, down, 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 down. Down, please, thank you. I stop, I'd probably get run over by the dog. <laughs> yes, it, 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 you, you see Hazel just oh, geez. stop, glump, 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 glump. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Hazel, you okay? And giving final treats to all the dogs. And going, mm-hmm. One for you, and one for you. You already had one, and you're not tricking me. One for you. <laughs> <laughs> I am still face down wherever I got smacked into. She's like the only one that could tell them apart right off the bat from the first, <laughs> first go. And Remy, from, from the oldest one, just gets a, a sort of measuring look, and then gets up with a little bit of difficulty on the hind legs because clearly this one is now just you know house dog a uh, little lick of the cheek and then starts butting the other ones back in <laughs> oh, i have finally peeled myself off the ground i'm just like yeah. sitting up all somewhere in the grass oh i'm okay yes, and thankfully she hasn't managed to land in any Thing particularly organic. <laughs> a little, little bit, a little bit of trail dust, like everywhere. But because of the braid, it's f- for once not in the hair. Yeah, we need to figure out how to do that, Claire. <laughs> I think you're you pretty much taken over hair duty, I think. So uh, yeah, we might work that into your repertoire, as it were. Well, I, I never I, had braid, just not how to keep it like that. Fair. I, I go over to Hazel, seeing her covered in dust, and it's like, do you want me to get that for you? Do the thing! All right, and I press the digitize the dust, dust off her front. So the, just from, from the window, um, uh, uh, Eliza does go, also, we've been setting up baths! <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh boy. The hot chocolate will keep taking the bathhouse, Siggy. All right. And I guess I show them to the baths. I mean, it's it's a it's a little more basic because clearly this is something that's as much for the ranch hands as everything else, but it's dusty work. Um and probably a terrible lot of pollen from the various plant life on the plains. So what you mostly get is fairly large tubs uh, fed by um, 
the sort of a, a cistern that's been heated by an open flame. So it's been stocked ahead of time. Um, so you actually get a hot water bath. Uh, you something, have the singularly something... most satisfied and decompressed half elf in existence. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I am a noodle. Uh, the, the, the soap's a little basic, but I mean, uh, this is something Remy in particular hasn't had in years. <laughs> uh, she's she's used to it's it's wet it'll take the smell of rust off me i don't care but this is this is you know that just the right temperature to unknot muscles and feel a little bit too hot without actually scalding you god yes that <sighs> yeah Sig sigwald hasn't i mean sigwald's had hot baths before because obviously bellerace just to give you a little bit of an advanced hint, is I won't say more technologically advanced exactly, but there are certain advancements it has, rather a lot like Twilly's refrigerator. I think some. I think there's a phone ringing in somebody's. Anyway, yeah, that yeah, was. There fine. is. Yeah, they. There's a few advancements like. Uh, Twilly and Miranda's refrigerator that are kind of commonplace, and Those one of semi them semi-magitechy. Yeah, and one of them does involve uh, warm water, but uh, you know, Froseth hasn't had that since hot springs at the monastery. Uh, Clarity, if she wanted a bath like this, would have had to boil a terrible lot of water at the Thatchers. Yeah, that kind of thing. So this this is a treat. Slightly rough lice open all. I just at one point stretch, and you just hear like various joints snapping and popping, and a, a, a very a, and a very loud. Uh, hey, uh, does my voice sound gravelly? No. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do you do this? Uh, each of the tubs are separated by thin sort of plywood partitions to give a certain amount of privacy, but it's not really a separated out room, so you can hear each other. So, yes, you Why? all get treated to that pun. And Sigwald res responds... Why do you do these things? They were, they were good for a start, but, they're st but all these stone puns are starting to get a little lime stone. Uh, you mean that anything below the water? The water. <laughs> Your delivery on that was a bit rocky. <laughs> Process! Alvin, <laughs> <laughs> but you! That's new! You're promising me! Oh my god. <laughs> and to That's think, I'm stone cold new. sober. They always get the best reaction when they don't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is this is Froseth learning about life outside in in you know, with with people who aren't monks from you people. <laughs> Can we say bad influence? Hey, so I think Froseth's getting more getting bolder in his comedy. <laughs> Are you people done? Fro Fro Sigmund just. Ah! <laughs> I am just going silent and I'm just sort of listing a little because I am so decompressed. I am a wet noodle. <laughs> You're all horrible. And I swear I am not going to feel remotely bad about what happens next session. Not a, not a tiny bit. Not even a little. Well, enjoy this while it lasts, then. <laughs> That's the problem for future Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So once the once the, the 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 puns have exhausted themselves, um, you know, the, 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 yeah, they, they come in and there's uh, mugs of hot chocolate, which it turns out are uh, 
spiked with something sweet and alcoholic. Oh boy. <laughs> and brownies. Mm -hmm. <gasps> then, and Hazel's just looking at the mug. Glug, 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 glug. I probably downed about half of it before I stop. At the very least, the very least, it is now approaching bedtime, so you don't have to worry too much about uh, this. Hazel. Hazel, being as decompressed as she is, is probably falling asleep over her uh, over her mug. Yeah, it's like another fourth before she's starting to slump over. And I, I, I am. If someone doesn't like shake me a little, I basically just slide right out of my chair. <laughs> the question is, who is Hazel sitting next to? Who is Hazel usually sitting next to? Clarity <laughs> or Frosa? Tiefling in existence. Have <laughs> You're going to fall over. Thank you. Again. And I'm downing the rest of it. <laughs> Eventually, uh, when you guys are, are done with your uh, with, with your snack and your drink, um, uh, Eliza uh, says, I'll show them to their rooms. You know where your room is, Sigwald. We haven't changed a thing. All right. Although, I do gotta warn you, um, we may have to make a couple of changes, because Sarah's gonna need a room of her own in not too many years. Well, well, I'm probably gonna be out traveling quite a bit, and when the time comes for her to have her own room sheet, I'm, I'm happy to volunteer mine. Well, you know you've always got a bed here if you need one, but I suppose I don't reckon it, it seems like... Maybe it isn't even Bell Race that you're home no more. It's more points them. Anyhow, as I say, we're not going to throw any of your things away, but anything you might want to keep with you that you missed out on bringing when you went off to university, start your own, uh, your own life. Feel free to feel free to take it. Leave us a little bit of something, though, as mad as your pa might be. He does still love you. He just worries and shows it in all the wrong ways. I know. I know. And truth is, so I, sometimes, sometimes I, I can really grate on him. Let's face it, Sig, well, he's, he's a grady sort of man. He cares, but it's just not great at showing it sometimes. Anyhow, you've had a long trip. You go and you get some sleep. I'll show them to their rooms. And you know, same old, same old usual breakfast in the morning. So we'll make sh we'll make sure you're up in time if uh, if university is taking your uh, waking up early instincts away. Oh. Oh it, sure, oh, it sure ain't. I've become quite notorious for getting up early and doing my homework before class. We're going to talk about that last minute nonsense, Sigwald. <laughs> Anyhow, good night. Good night, Ma. I love you. And I yes. open my arms off yes. and hug. Hug, kiss on the cheek. <laughs> ah, that, I'm never going to get used to that beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. It su it suits you looks wise, but tickles something fierce. You're gonna have to think of something else and then tilts the hat back and kisses on the forehead. That's better. It pulls the hat so it's a little over his eyes Whoop. and herds the, the rest of them out. The beds are comfortable, the plain, no bugs. Actually, you know, feather feather mattresses, so there's not the crunchy <laughs> ah, it's better. Oh, you went to Blind Harpy, did you? Yeah. E flop. I am out. <laughs> Good night, everyone. 
Eli yeah, Eliza, can't... Eliza I... pulls off Hazel's boots and tucks her under the covers. She's... She's ours. I kind of figured. Now, <laughs> before, before I let the rest of you go off and have a have a sleep, one thing I gotta ask, particularly uh, Ms. Long Suffering Bodyguard. Yes. You watch out for for my Sigwald, aren't you? Of course. This he's he's a smart boy, but never all that great on the physical side and. Never been entirely sure when when not to use some words. He I never, have noticed that. Uh, he's, that's the problem. He never really fit around here. That's why we why we sent him away. I mean, we didn't wanna. We love him dearly. He just wasn't happy here. Not down where he is now. And for all he looks a little ruffled, particularly about his paw, which can't say I blame him. He's more settled into himself now than I've ever seen him. And I want him to keep He's being doing good work way. now. Well, that's not the only thing, my lady. But <laughs> it's something. Just he's breakable. I'll do my best to prevent that. And try to make sure he doesn't put his foot in it too far. I'll try to do that too. <laughs> Actually, I was talking more of the Dragonborn. He seems, uh, he seems a bit more cultured in his sense making. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he might have a better shot at that. We'll try. Rest well, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. We'll get you up for breakfast. And on that note, we will finish up for this week. And you managed to survive the blind harpy. Hurrah! Hey! That was the worst in in all <laughs> of existence. I managed to survive. I managed to survive my dad. <laughs> yeah, that's a, to, to be fair. Yeah. That's a, that's a that's a side of uh, that's a side of his parents he's never seen because all of the staff, I mean for the most part anyway, were human at least visible stuff. Mm. They've they've had a few half elves, but they've again they've mostly been mucking out and doing the dirty jobs. And uh, as as Sigwald is trying to settle and getting to sleep, he's actually ticking that over in his head and going oh shit my dad's racist <laughs> yeah this was fun <laughs> yeah, i will pop this was awesome